Hey, it's Matt here from the Coffee Cart King. Look, the normal video I have on this website, I've just taken down for a little while. I'm just doing a couple of changes here and there. But um, you happen to be in luck, well, happen to be in luck if you happen to be one of the first two people um, that may have some interest in these X demonstration coffee carts. Now, these are our coffee carts that are normally $18,900 plus GST. I've taken $4,000 off them um, to, for the ability to, for you to get them basically $4,000 cheaper um, because they're X demo. Now, when I say X demo, they're not completely perfect, um, but they're down close. The full grain you would have noticed, but I'm gonna go through very, very carefully and show you exactly what's in these coffee cups. So first of all, um, first up, obviously you can put your sign writing in this area. So this area here is good solid steel and it keeps everything shut. I'll spin it around in a minute and show you, okay? First of all, to open it, it's quite simple, quite easy. Basically what happens is you'll see it's got the easy lift open doors. The doors open up. You've got your two hydraulic um, arms here that hold the door open and the whole thing's lockable. Then, also this is obviously the front of the actual um, coffee cart. I'm gonna take you through the whole thing, so just bear with me, stick with me. This actual um, table just folds down real nice, simple and easy. You'll see when you actually put your coffee machine on here, you've got these little plugs that pop out. And what actually happens is you can put your cables straight through those holes there, see? This all pops out. You've probably seen those type of things in desks before. Now, not only that as well, but what happens is on the side here, and we'll just come around the side so I can show you the side, the sides fold down, so this is how it locks, okay? So essentially, it's locked at the moment. I turn this key, whoops, there it goes. And the actual sides just fold down nicely. As you can see, just gotta put a little bit of pressure on them. So when it's, when it's opened up, the whole thing opens up, right? So I'm just gonna go through, this one will come down and tip. And you'll see that sits exactly like that. Now, I'm just gonna leave that there for one tick and show you a couple other things. You'll see here, on both sides of the door is these particular locks here, okay? So these locks is all how you lock the door off at night. Okay, if you wanna lock this, because you can wheel this around anywhere real, real easy. This is obviously the locking mechanism for the other door here as well. And obviously, um, being the front, you've got the locks here as well. So essentially when you wanna get into it, all you're doing is unlocking these from either side, okay? Now that I've shown you that, what I'm gonna do is just stop the camera for one tick. I'm gonna spin it around for it's a lot easier. When I spin it around the other side, then I'm gonna show you everything internally and how everything works so you get a full and complete understanding of this coffee cup. That you will save um, $4,000 on, but I only have two of them, okay? So it's really first and best dress. Another thing worth pointing out at this point in time is um, you can basically have this for around about $250 a month, okay? So the total price goes up a little bit more because you do pay interest, okay? But it's not anything crazy. You end up paying about 20 grand rather than the, 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 um, the um, 4,900. So but you pay about five grand extra in interest over about five years, okay? So it's not over the top. At least you can get out and start making straight away and leave your money in the bank. Okay, so I'll stop the camera for a tick. Second, I'm gonna show you a few things. So now I'm really on the back of it. So I'm just gonna grab it here. Real simple, open it up. Okay, open up the coffee cup, now you can see right through. Now, we've got the uh, CD player and a few switches. I'm gonna show you all that stuff in a moment, but just for now, I'm gonna show you on the outside. So, to make it look like you're open for business, imagine your coffee machine could be here, your grinder there, you could have your cakes, biscuits, whatever else you want to sell right here, ready to go. Now, I'm just gonna turn the key here, open up this side. Once again, this side just drops right down. Nice and easy. Like I said, these are ex-demo models, so they've actually never done any trade, but a few marks here and there, which I'll point out onto them. So they can't complete, but the reason why you're saying for, saving $4,000, so you've just gotta be prepared for a few marks here and there. When people touch them, muck around with them, there can be a few marks. So I'd rather be totally honest and straight up here off the bat. So now it's completely open, okay? You see how I open the doors and so on. Now, let's have a look through here. First of all, we've got your sink that basically sits in here like this, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. It's got a drain plug, obviously, and you can just rinse this stuff out and everything. I'm gonna show you the water bottle and stuff um, for that in one moment, okay? So just shut the sink off there, okay? Now, in here is where your actual fridge goes. Now, I'm gonna show you the fridge in a tick. You'll see that's all open there. So you actually really got extra storage at the back behind the fridge. You've gotta be careful what you store there, but you still 
got extra storage there for when it's locked up. And the fridge comes in now real easy. Now, I'm including a fridge for free. There's no charge on the fridge. Um, so basically, I know you need a fridge, so I'm gonna give it to you for free, okay? So this fridge is actually included. You'll see that this fridge simply slips in here like this, right? It's not heavy at all, and slides straight in. You with me? And, you know, in five years time, if you decide you want to get a new fridge because it's going to get used every day, it's easy, you just go down the electric place and for like 100 bucks, 150, 200 bucks, whatever it is, depending on what brand you buy, you get another fridge, okay? Now let's pull that back out, just so you can see it properly, okay? It's real easy. When this, I'll show you in a minute how all this locks, okay? Now, in behind here, you've got actual cup holders. So we'll just turn around and go around a little bit sideways in here, and you see the cup holders, you'll see there's three different sizes and the cup holders go right the way back so you can fit a lot of cups in there. Now, obviously when you're making your coffee and so on, you want somewhere to drop your grindings, you can drop them straight in this drawer here, okay? And when you're ready, you can just pop that drawer out and tip it out and give it a wipe out, no problems at all. Now, you can obviously have a cash register up top if you want to, or alternatively, you simply use this drawer as your cash drawer and just put your little thing in there that holds the cash and then you've got a little bit of storage, you might have pens, receipts, notepads, all that sort of stuff, okay? So it makes it really easy. This is just another drawer for any other bits and pieces that you want to keep. Keeps it nice and handy for you. Now, in saying all that, there's also, I just grabbed the keys. These keys, the locks on either end, there's a key for this lock, a key for this lock, okay? So they're two different keys, okay? So you've got another set of keys that goes around the whole thing. Now, let's go through piece by piece. First of all, this one here, in here, you'll see this is an area for your water tank. So you can actually get the water tank and run the water, water straight to your coffee. So this is completely and totally mobile, okay? Completely independent of itself. The worst thing you'd have to do is walk off and either fill the water tin up, or alternatively, if you wanted to, empty out uh, wastewater, which I'll show you in a tip, right? So you've got that door there. There's also extra storage space in there, okay? This one here, you'll see in here, basically, there's maximum storage in there, so you can fit a heap of extra stock and supplies and so on. This is all completely lockable um, at night, so you can basically shut this down anywhere and um, feel safe and secure, so you don't have to worry about a few, few things. Now, I'll tell you about the marks over here. You'll see there's just an odd mark here and there. There's nothing really to worry about, just a little mark here and there. Nothing of major concern. You're saving $4,000, so hey, hey, who really cares about a couple of marks? Now, I'm going to show you also over here how everything works in the way of um, the back of the sink. So come over this side here, and essentially I'm just going to open this door. So inside this door you'll see the back of the sink. Now there's a 12 volt pump that runs everything, and then there's also the water containers. Now I'll put an extra water container in there. The one over that side um, should really be over here because you really want a 25 litre one over that side, which is the square when you get straight out. So you do have to get yourself a $20 water tank, no big deal, right? So you, everything drains in here and you get your fresh water from here and obviously the sink pushes out as we um, I showed you before and the water pump is actually um, within there. Now, one I'm gonna show you, too, I just lock that off, you'll see that's nice and secure at night. Then, what I'm gonna show you here is that this side, how really cool and how really easy and simple it is done uh, to do. Now, this is obviously the other side. This door obviously locks. It's not locked at the moment, but you can see that it locks like that. And then I'm just gonna open it up. And inside here is all your Australian compliant electrical, okay? So this plug is designed, and you see it's just been tested and tagged just yesterday, in fact, um, to make sure it's all 100% right. You've got the circuit breaker, so that all shuts up that. All the conduit and wiring that goes through powers your fridge. And obviously you can plug your uh, coffee machine in by dropping through the top pieces and things. Now, this plug obviously can go through this down here. So this pops out just like the one I showed you before and can go down underneath. But for the purposes of this, I've just opened the door. So here we go here, simply plug it in, just like any other normal everyday plug. Okay, and then we'll come over here and you'll see how everything works. Now, you've got four switches here, okay, essentially, you got one, so you've got three LEDs, it drops the LEDs down so it lights up the counter for you, nice and easy, okay? Then you've got another, a longer LED, that goes along the whole top of the counter, just so you might not want it as bright, it might be night time, you might not want it as bright, you might want it more dimly lit, which is fine, so you've got that option there too. And then, 
Underneath the front, there's actually another light underneath here. Now it's pretty hard to see in the daytime, but it's actually a light that lights up underneath here for the nighttime, okay? And then this switch is just a spare switch. And of course you've got the stereo, you put a CD in, and away you go with the music. Um, this is all really easy and really simple. So as you can see, now you can see I've just unpacked that and got it ready and so on and so forth in seconds. So let's go in reverse and pack it up. So all I have to do is simply unplug this, okay, get rid of the cord, shut the door, grab the keys, okay, grab the keys like that, okay, then I'm just going to lift this side up here, fold that in like that, so that's all folded in, real nice and easy, real simple, one person can easily do all this, now the fridge you don't normally leave on the ground hanging around like this, I pulled it out just to show you inside, okay, so essentially what you do, is obviously the fridge lids in there. So essentially what you do to make sure the whole thing's locked, that's just the tape that keeps the door shut, the brand new fridge. Remember I'm giving that fridge to you for no charge. So essentially what you do, you go to this side, you simply shut these doors, this door down, okay? What you do that. is because I want to make sure it's locked for the night, I just put that lock in there. And then I put this lock in here. So that's straightforward, just going to make sure this one's right in, which it is. That's nicely locked, so you can't open that at all because these locks are keeping it shut. Okay, then what I want to do is because I need to be able to get access, I just need to make sure these gold wing doors are down. So this one here, let's let this one down for a tip. Because I need to get access to this door, remember? So what I'm going to do now, and you'll see when I shut this, it completely locks off this lower area. So it's going to lock all these drawers, and these are independently locked as well, okay? Now, this one goes down, just like this, this one pushes in a little bit, see that there, okay, and then what we do is, that's all locked off in there, you can see that you can easily reach that, and basically what happens is, I'm just going to lift this up here, put that there, turn the lock, that's all secured, securely locked as you can see, you can see there's a couple of marks here and there on this, it's like I'm probably going over the top, by saving you four grand, but you know, I'd rather be honest and upfront. I don't want you to get it and say, hey, there's a few scratches that's paid out eight grand, so I've given you four grand off, um, so you can do that. So you'll see this one here is all locked, so that just slides in there. So put it up here, turn this, and that's completely locked. Now the whole unit is completely secure and locked. Okay, they can knock off a couple of cups. Hey, you put your cups on the inside. But all these um, drawers and so on, and doors are all independently locked with the key as you see, okay? Now, you're probably wondering where the other power point was for the coffee machine. It is actually in underneath there. So you can drop the wire through and power your stuff in underneath there with the, for the um, actual coffee machine. It's nice, easy, ready to plug in. We push this in here, push that down there. Put it out there. So it's basically all done. Now, as you can see, it's a really, really, really good quality coffee cart. Nice, super strong and solid. In reality, you can make really good money out of your coffee cart, no matter if you're adding it to an existing business or whether it's just something that you want to use occasionally on the weekends. This can easily be slid into a box trailer. You simply put two straps over it, you go wherever, wheel it in there and you're done, okay? All your supplies and so on can sit underneath. Really simple and straightforward. Once again, I only have two of these, okay? Um, the other models, I'm doing some changes and bits and pieces, so the other models will be released in a couple of months. But for now, I only have two of these, these X demos, normally $18,900 plus GST. However, for only two people, it is $14,900 plus GST. Now you're probably wondering, what do you have to do next? Okay. First thing is you have to go ahead and give us a call. Now the phone number is up there in the top uh, right hand side of the screen, but in case you don't have it, it is 1300 247 066. That's 1300 247 066. Alternatively, you can drop an email to office at coffeecartking.com.au or alternatively, you can fill in the um, form just below and I'll give you a call. Now, how long these last, I don't know. There's, there's no gimmicks here. There's only two, that's two and then that's it, okay? Um, now, as far as finance goes, um, I can explain you the whole finance process um, well, there, but essentially you pay interest, it's not like um, a deal where you pay $50 a week and you pay, end up paying $70,000 for this. 
you pay interest on a loan and it's dealt with directly to the bank. I can give you, um, you go directly to the people and they'll help you go through the finance. Um, as long as you've had some work or something in the past, they'll be able to help you out easily. There's heaps of options. Best to talk to them direct. Um, any other questions you might have, we can easily cover off on the phone. So here's the steps you have to go through. If you go, yes, I can see this is a bargain, I can see this is me, and you're saying yes to yourself right now, what you have to do is make contact. Easiest way is simply fill in the form or email us, okay? Once you do that, I'll make contact with you. We'll go over any questions you might have. Once you go over the questions that you have, next step after that is simply pay a refundable $500 invoice, okay? A $500 deposit, sorry. Once you pay that $500, de uh, $500 deposit, I'll raise the invoice for you. Everything will be specified. It is this in the video or it's sister you might call, which is basically the same, okay? Once we've gone through all the details, you've had a chance to read that, you've got full understanding of it, then and only then you can transfer over the balance of the funds and we'll organize either um, delivery or pickup. Now, as far as delivery goes, uh, to anywhere in Queensland, New South Wales or Victoria, as long as it's within the metro area, is $395. If you're outside the metro area in a regional area, let's have a chat on the phone, we'll work something out. It's pretty simple and straightforward. So here's what you need to do next. If you're interested, go ahead and uh, either fill in the form or give us a call. Once you do that, or you can email us. Once you do that, we'll go over any questions you have. If you feel this is the right thing for you, next step is uh, um, you pay a $500 refundable deposit. At that point, if you do need to get finance, or go through all the details of finance, put in contact the finance broker, the $500 refundable res deposit reserves it for you. Remember there's only two. Then once you sort all that out and you're happy, you transfer the funds. Once you transfer the funds, you can either pick the um, um, the coffee cart up or alternatively, we can organize uh, delivery for you. There's only two, if you miss out, I'm sorry. Hey, you're gonna have to pay 18,900 um, when the next one's released. These normally aren't 18,900 because they've got all the bells and whistles, but you know, it's up to you. Looking forward to hearing from you and we'll get something sorted for you right away. It's very rare to have these in stock, so grab it while you can.